Get in. Yes. Paul Laurie from the first. One starting, one thirty starting time with the Patrick Sholand. A nice drive. Yes, oh, it's okay. Nicely done. Another bold one. Very smoothly done. Paul Laurie at the second tee. Going with the driver. This very narrow second fairway. And Paul, one of only two players left in the field not to have a double bogey, the other being Justin Leonard. Well, rather fortunate to come back out of the back. Wasn't really uh, much out for distance, just moved, pushed it a little to the right. Paul Laurie. For a birdie at the third. Well done. Just trying to push a three wood down this fourth hole in position, avoiding the bunkers both right and left. And that's one of the bunkers. And I don't know if he'll get a stance at that one. That looks an awkward lie to me. Well, that was just a squirt off and uh, into deep rough, some 90 yards or so ahead. Oh, beautiful par putt from Paul Laurie on the fourth green. He's one of the par for the day. As you can see there, a couple of pars, lovely birdie at the third. And this on the sixth. Long birdie putt up the hill. Come on. You little beauty. One little putt from Paul Laurie. Laurie at the eighth. Paul Laurie for a birdie. Oh, he's rattled in a couple of good ones. Well done, Paul. Paul Laurie's second shot to the 11th hole, just from the left edge of the fairway, just on the semi. Good lie. And that's a wonderful shot there, currently in sixth position. On the 12th, Paul Laurie second. 479 yard par four and a 
difficult. Hole. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Too badly. Come on, come on. This is going to announce our chance. Beautiful, setting himself up with a, another birdie opportunity. Paul Laurie for birdie at 14. So Laurie goes to plus seven. Elegant swinger of the club he is too. He's got a very good record in Open Championships. He got close down at Royal St. George's when Norman won, and he's doing very well here. So he's three under for the round, and this is a great uh, final day for Paul. Now, if he could get into the top four of this championship, he would receive an invite to the United States Masters at Augusta. An outside chance. Slightly uphill from this spot and just runs past the edge. Just one stroke outside of fourth place. That fourth place held by Ankel Cabrera. This is the hole that has broken hearts. 459 yards, the island they call it. It's a hole that's played havoc with the players. He's anxious. Oh, he's jumped that bunker. This is a good shot. <laughs> For a minute, it didn't look like it was going to be. And remember now, Cabrera dropping a shot means that uh, Paul Laurie is now in sharing fourth place. Now, what a birdie would do for this young fella here. <laughs> well, isn't this a great card? We said earlier in the week his experience on the Aberdeenshire coast was good in the wind. Well, the wind's gone away, and he's birding all the holes. This is super golf. Paul has taken the metal three. All week they've been playing irons down here with a whistling tailwind. And he's in the rough. It's not as deep as in some parts of the course, but deep enough. Yeah, he likes it. Oh, did he get lucky. He was so lucky, although he's in the bunker. Jerry, what a pity he didn't get really lucky because he could have run up the green instead of into the bunker, but he's much better there than in the Barry Burn where a penalty struck would have been involved. But the pin is well up the green today. Get up, get up, come on ball. Well, should Laurie hold his putt for par? Almost certain to finish in the top four, which would secure him a spot at next year's Masters. Get in. 
So Paul Laurie pars the 18th for a fine 67. Lowest round of the day. And equals the low round of this championship. Our leader in the clubhouse. He's going to be at least three shots ahead. A six will do. little rascal and that bounced and seemed to go way to the right <laughs> anything going left in hard will go out of bounds I think he's firing right at the clock maybe aiming at the bunkers first tee Well, you do. I don't believe this. Well, hello. <laughs> what is going on here? I, well, let's have a look where he is. He's still short of the burn. Is he short of the burn? He bounced back off the stand. This is uh, this is so 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 sad and so unnecessary. Now, what are you doing? What on earth are you doing? No, Jean, please. Would somebody kindly let's go and stop him? Give him a large brandy and mop him down. Had three shots already. Pick out for four. Pick on the green five. I don't know. I don't know whether she's laughing or she's become hysterical because I'm not sure what I'm going to do either. And it looks as if he's right underneath. Oh, these are unbelievable scenes. They really are. The, the thing is, that the reason he's doing it is because he can see that half the ball is actually above the surface of the water. And he thinks he might be able to move it out of there. Now, I don't know. We've, many of us have tried these kind of shots, but he's going to sink deeper and deeper. It's all silty down here, and I don't think he's going to last very long. No, this this really is beyond a joke. Now he's he's, he's gone gaga because this is uh, this is quite. I've never seen anything like it before, and to attempt to hit the ball out of there is pure madness. Because he could hit the wall, go back in, the ball could hit him. He could end up not finishing in the top twenty. Well, he's thinking about it, but this is horrendous stuff, Alex. Uh, this is a total mistake. This could be one of the saddest uh, moments in sport. He must, he should pick up, go back, drop, get it on the green, get a six, get in the playoff. He, if he attempts to hit this, they don't come up. They don't. We've all tried it. We've all got soaked to the skin trying it. But, you know, he only needs a six. A six to win. Now, he's in the water for two shots, penalty shot drop three, four on the green, two putts, and he would win. He's in for water for three. Sorry, Sorry in for three, five. yeah. He's got to get down in a pitch and a putt if he drops out. Yeah, but a six for a for a, a playoff. He's got to get down in two. No, thank, thank goodness good sense prevails. <laughs> oh, yes. The 
played a similar shot to the one he plucked into the bird. He just didn't accelerate through. Now, down in two from the bunker to force a playoff or get his forces way into the playoff. This could become very sad indeed. Three-way playoff it will be Paul Lurie, Sean van der Velde and Justin Leonard starting at the 15th. Quite unbelievable. Oh, no. I don't think anyone saw that. It was right behind the gorse bushes. A big hook some 40 yards left of the fairway may never see that again. It's gone left too. Pulled it way left. And that dived in and there's, well, there's somebody spotted it. So advantage Leonard. Nobody wants this title. That's underneath the buggy. Uh, uh, there are three worst drives I've seen for many a year. This is getting really quite silly, isn't it, Peter? Uh, what's happening is at the moment, Jean van der Velde doesn't agree with David Rickman's idea of the line to the pin. So uh, I think David Pepper is up front and trying to help David Rickman. And, uh, but, Mr. but uh, Jean van der Velde is saying that the, the actual uh, pin is 35 rods right of where he was saying. But anyway, he's now back on this tee, which is part of the inner course. And I'm sorry I don't know the name of this course. It's another one of the Carnoustie courses. And um, he can get relief off this because it is an obstruction. So he will get a relief onto the tee. There we go. <laughs> Pull Laurie just with a wedge just to get it back into play very sensibly because honestly it's tough, tough uh, lie in there and that isn't very sensible. Just have gone into the semi rough on the wrong side of the fairway. Let's see what happens. He'll work this ball from left to right. A little left. Oh, oh. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. Well, it's now raining. He might choose to throw it the whole way. Difficult pin position to get at, and this looks a little right. Oh. No, <laughs> it's just sitting down and, well, it's safe, I suppose, but what a long putt he's got left. That pin today is 23 yards on. Now, oh, this is high and look straight at it. If it's long enough, 
And it is. Well, that's a good shot from Van der Velde, considering what he's been through in the last three quarters of an hour. Great putt. And Laura will certainly not be lacking in local support. So six for Jean. Well, that's a six. Two shots dropped at the first playoff hole, but the others aren't going to do better than five. For five. He's a fighter, there's no question about it. So, two fives and a six. Three iron. And he needs to hit it. And he has hit it quite well, but they see that pitch is way short. If it had been straight, it might well have come up onto the green, but not straight. but a very straight long iron hitter. That looks like it might be just a little bit to the left again, and is. Well, <laughs> one left, one right. Come on, Jean Sun, you're not out of this yet. Well, in the bunker. Boy, that was a very, very courageous bunker shot there. shot to play, but it doesn't prove to be the right one. Beautiful shot from Paul Lowry. Shots dropped. The agony continues.
Hold on. Well, that was a two iron. Down the right hand side. Yes. Nice tee shot from Paul Lauren. Well, he doesn't like that one. Oh, now. Oh, now. Okay. <coughs> He's gonna have a very difficult stance from there. Ball will be below his feet. That's a good looking swing there. Perfect. And long. He's played it very well, chased it through to the front. That's a cracking shot. Yeah, three or four iron for Paul. He's a very strong hitter. That's a wonderful strike and a good kick forward. That's 15 feet or so from the hole. That's a beautiful shot from Paul Lorry. That's a good shot as well. Excellent shot. Beautiful putting stroke. Well, let's see if he doesn't prove me wrong. That might be one of the shortest putts uh, that cost the Open Championship title. Just one inch to tap it in for a par four but a beautiful sense of speed. He's hit as straight as a die. And he's got it. <laughs> well, this is the funniest day in golf that I've ever experienced. Cheers up ahead of the spectators up there know that Laurie has got a three and is in the lead and he's hit an absolute belter down the last hole. Well, we can see how much longer it's playing now. The players were hitting irons well past that earlier in the week. I'm afraid his long game has deserted him. At the most crucial time, he's had his chance, I feel. It's down the right, maybe coming in a whisker, and it is. Good drive. Good angle, too, from there. Even that turned a bit as he struck it. There it is, it caught up the wet grass. It's even worse now that it's wet, and I think he's given up. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi, 
Oy, oy, now, Mr. Lorry. Well, he can't believe that. I thought he caught it a little bit heavy. Go on then, do a proper knife. Shot of the day. Wonderful. Very reminiscent of Tony Jacklin when he hit that wonderful shot into the heart of the green at Royal Lytham St. Dan's all those years ago. And now the first Scotsman for umpteen years is going to be the champion. And well played, Paul Laurie. Zip on it, but a little too late. Well played. Five for Van der Velde. And he's got enough to think about without piling on the agony. Oh, well hold, but twice in the Barry Burn, the 18th, and the 72nd hole, and then in the playoff. Laurie's the winner. <laughs> it may have been very rubbishy early on, but to finish 3-3 to claim the prize is quite magical. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer for the year with a score of 290, Paul Laurie. The Harold, the captain of the RNA. And there it is. The wonderful old trophy.